I am Samdi Shuri, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, St. Joseph College of Arts and Science for Women, Osur. Topic is Human Resource Planning. Meaning of Human Resource Planning. It is a continuous process of systematic planning to achieve the maximum uses of an organization of most valuable asset and quality employees. Human resource planning ensures best fit between employees and job while avoiding manpower store shortage or surpluses. There are four steps in human resource planning process. They include analyzing present labor force, forecasting labor demand, balancing projected labor demand with the supply and supporting organizational goals. It is an important investment for any business as it allows the companies to remain both productivity and profitability. Characteristics Future oriented it is a continuous process and future requirement of workforce in the organization. It helps identify the size and composition of resources for future purposes. Continuous process. It is a continuous and future oriented process. The human resource planning prepared today may not be applicable for future due to the ever-changing external forces of the environment. Next one, optimum utilization of human resources. It checks how employees are utilized productively and it also identifies employees existing capabilities and future potentialities to perform the work. Right kinds and numbers. It determines the right number, right people at the right time and right place who can perform the required job. It also access the future requirement of human resource for the organizational objective. And then determination of demand and supply. It is determining the demand and supply of human resource in the organization. It matches between demand and supply estimates the optimum level of human resources. Environmental influence. It influences the human resource planning. Hence, it is updated as per the change occupied in the external environment. Related to corporate plan. Human resource planning is an integral part of all over corporate plan of the organization. It can formulate at strategic tactical and operational level. Needs of planning. Direction and guidance. It provides a clear direction and purposes. It helps individuals and organization set goals and objectives outlining the path to achieve them. Resource optimization. Effective planning helps in the optimum utilization of resources including time, money, manpower, and materials. Risk mitigation. It allows the identification and assessment of potential risks and challenges by considering possible obstacles. Planners can develop contingency plans and strategies to maximize the impact of uncertainties. Improved decision making. Planning facilitates informed decision making by providing systematic framework for evaluating alternatives and selecting the best course of action. It helps in considering various factors and consequences before making choices. Coordination and collaboration. In organizational settings, planning enhances coordination among different departments and teams. Performance measurement. It enables the monitoring and evaluation of performance against predetermined goals 
allowing for adjustment as needed. Flexibility and adaptability. While planning sets a framework, it allows flexibility and adaptability to changing circumstance. Continuous planning enables organization and individuals to adjust strategies based on new information or shifting priorities. Time management. Planning assists in effective time management by priority tasks and allocating resources efficiently. It helps to avoid ensures their activities are completely in an timely manner. Continuous improvement. It is an interactive process that encourages learning from experience through regular ref reviews and updates and planning to support continuous improvement by incorporating lessons learned and adjusting strategies for better outcomes. Thank you.